Come on. Do I have to go outside? Oh god, I have to go outside. Please don't die! Please don't die! Put out that fire quick! Oh god. Okay, come on, buddy. What's going on, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Armored Battle Crew. Now, this is a game we checked out in the very early development of it uh, a couple months ago, and it has been progressively been updated, and I wanted to check it out again today because we got new tanks to enjoy. There's more customization now. There's even freaking flamethrowers. So we're going to go out to the battlefield and check out this new tank, the Mark A Whippet. This is a three-man tank. It doesn't even have a, tur like a gun on it. I mean, it's got guns. It doesn't have a, a, a cannon on it. So uh, this is probably going to be a very difficult tank to use, but I wanted to show the customization, and we got to try this little tank out. I mean, it's so adorable. We're probably going to die in it, and that's what's so fun about this game anyways. What is this for? Very effective against infantry. You don't say! Burning flesh, that sounds great. So yeah, we're going to put the flamethrower on the back. We'll shoot it around if we ever need to kill somebody from the back. The rest of these, I wonder if we should just keep them, you know, the suggested, because they probably know better than me on how to load this thing out. It looks like, ooh, experimental AT rifle. That sounds exciting. So we got two of the same over here. The Hotchkiss M1914 machine gun, and then the experimental AT rifle. What's this for? A tank rifle designed by Philip Thomas Godsell during World War I. It was never adopted by the British due to the lack of usage of tank by the German. Well, I guess that's World War One, but World War II, the Germans definitely did a pretty good job utilizing those tanks. So, uh, yeah. Being that this is a World War II era game, let's try her out. And, yeah, we're going to... That's all we can really do in here, I think, anyways. Wait, can we change... Whoa! Hell yeah, I want an upgraded engine. I did not realize the customization was this extensive. This is actually really cool. That's what I like so much about this game, is just the customization. So we customized our tank. Obviously, we gotta customize our crew as well. Uh, saw this move in a cartoon. I think I can pull it off. Okay, is this my, is this my freaking driver? Oh yeah, Albert, buddy. I think you're gonna stay on because you sound pretty damn amazing. But yeah, we have a, a selection of choices now for different crew members. So I guess, oh, are, are each one of these a driver? Wait, they, they do change in the background. No, actually, Albert's just chilling over there, so it must rotate along. So yeah, we definitely need a driver. This guy looks to be the only driver, considering he just ripped off a steering wheel and he's holding it. All right, you know what? Let's actually get a medic here. The ambulance is no quitter's job. Okay, I'm gonna put her in William's seat, so we now have someone who's also- Wait, a driver and a medic. Oh god, decisions now. This is actually harder than I thought, because uh, some of these guys are jacks of all trade. Okay, this guy's just saying bang, 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 of course times two as well, uh, and his abilities are pretty damn hilarious. He's got an actually negative 25 weapon accuracy, but look at that rate of fire. So yeah, each character's got its own unique stats. I think we're going to put William in the crew because uh, he seems absolutely crazy. So Dorothy, I'm sorry, we don't really need another driver. I'm going to use this guy, William, and we need one more Okay, you know what? After some very confusing selections here, each, each character's got its own unique stuff going on. So, uh, definitely, you have to, you know, pay attention when you are selecting your characters here. But we do need a good healer, and this guy's got plus 100% healing speed. Also, he's a very happy fellow and a gunner as well. So, I think we're good with this. Now, we are going to act... Oh, wait, we can play with the... Squeeze me? We can even armor this thing up? But this is amazing. Uh, we can go to the bottom armor? Oh, yes, we can. Now, I'm definitely not going to put anything up down there because uh, hopefully we don't get hit there because it's very light armor right now. Anyways, you get the idea. Customization is in this game now. You can even paint your tank to whatever you want. Ah, oh, Christmas colors. Isn't that great? I'm going to go. I, I do want some camo here, so we're going to do that. And you can scale it to whatever you want. That looks good to me. Let's go battle, and we are just going to do custom battles today. I don't believe this was in the game last time we played, so this should be fun. And you can actually choose your spawn point, your time, weather, and map size. You know what? We got two different maps to choose. I kind of like the idea of trench warfare. Let's do that, and hopefully we do well. All right, we got a few good men here in our little whippet. Oh, okay. Do we have an objective we have to do? Well, we have to capture that, obviously. A and B, sorry. The infantry will be launching an attack on point A and B in 15 minutes. Okay, so I have done this before, I think. I thought it was a campaign mode, though. We'll try it anyways, and uh, we'll see if we can help them out. All right, and here we are in our little makeshift crew. So look at how small this tank is compared to the other one. 
now we do have some things we need to do. Oh, God, we're already being shot at. Okay, so this is starting off really, really quick. Looks like we do have an enemy tank over there. I'm on the anti-tank gun. What do we actually have in this thing right now, though? we got to make sure we have the right ammo. Uh, looks like it can only hold AP, so we are going to use that. And look at this, guys. You can actually aim yourself now if you want. And these guys don't have the best of aim, so I'm going to try my best to take out this tank for them. Hopefully we don't get damaged too much. There's some artillery coming in from the enemy lines. We're going to go try and take out that artillery if we can. Now I am focusing fire on one spot. Not really sure if that helps or not, but uh, we need to get this thing down as quickly as possible. Being that we don't have a cannon, this could be quite a long fight here. Okay, it's on fire. It's a good sign. Usually when things on fire, they're about to explode. So let's keep shooting it down in the front here. Come on, man. Seriously? I've given you like 15,000 shots. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. But yes, now you can actually aim yourself if you do want to, which is absolutely awesome. Now, what is this? A resupply point? That's probably what that is. Not really interested in that right now. We are going to have to go take out some of that artillery as quickly as possible. Okay, and we are fully healed, so we may as well just keep moving up on ahead. And I'm just going to go right up to this guy, I think. It's probably the best option. All right, let's throw some rapid fire on, combat reload on. Get this thing down, man. Come on, William. I don't want to have to do everything myself. We might be a little bit too high of an incline right here. Yeah, he's not He's not getting... He's shooting my own tank. So we should have probably wrapped around a little bit. All right, come on. Get the damn thing. You know what? Oh, thank you, artillery. Clearly, I can't get it, but the artillery killed it for me. Perfect. Now, is this tank big enough to get across these trenches? I don't want to get stuck in it, but I do want to keep moving here. Because we are being shot from everywhere. And I'm trying to get to the artillery as quickly as possible. That looks like it right there. Hopefully, we can get down there in time. Okay, that's definitely artillery. Jesus Christ. I didn't think it would be able to shoot me that close. Okay, and there we go. Now, we're going to have to deal with... Multiple things happening at once. Oh my god, they're throwing nades at me. Okay, repair time. Is there repairing? I'm killing all the infantry in this water here. Kind of hard to see, but there's definitely infantry there. These guys, they can seem to uh, take a few bullets to the face. That's damn impressive, dude. I cannot see very well, but I am definitely hitting these guys. All right, there's one down. There's another one down. It looks like I got them all that time. Oh, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to deal with that. Let's get this guy. Oh god, he's got to go outside. The okay. I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay, buddy. Um, yeah, let's put out that fire real quick as we are shooting this thing. It looks like we're okay. I didn't expect that, but I guess how else is he going to get to the front of the tank? All right, get, get back in, man. Get, get back in into the driver's seat. We're okay. Wait, is Desmond not the driver? Desmond is not the driver. Let's do this right. Back at the driver's seat. So there we go. We took out the artillery. That was one of our big jobs. Now we got to get the barbed wire out so we can help our buddies invade. Oh, man, this could get this could get hairy. You know what? I'm going to get on this gun. We're going to reload it because it's almost out. Oh, crap. Again? Oh, you know what? This is not a good space to... Uh, oh, my God. They're throwing nades at me and everything. Okay. Do not get close to infantry. They have lots of nades. We're backing up just because I know i got to get out of the tank probably again. Come on. Get out there and repair it. All right. Use the rock to our advantage. Oh, man. There's so many here. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get over this. Come on, little whippet. You can do it. Oh, God. This is dangerous. This is stupid. I shouldn't do this, but I really want to try this flamethrower out. God, we are going to get some serious damage here. All right, flamethrower. Please be worth it. Flame them up. <laughs> oh, God. That kills them right away. Okay, so this, this tank would be amazing for an infantry killer if we just had flamethrowers all around it. My God, they die right away. Watch out. Nades are coming in. All right. Well, we got a little bit of downtime here. Let's get this thing all set up. We're still waiting for our infantry to come in. We do not have a driver right now, so I am being hit, but we're totally fine. We got lots of health on this thing, so we don't have to worry too much about it. And we are extremely low on gas. I just realized that. Hopefully, this refuels as well. If not, we are going to run into a problem. I never had gas problems in the other one, so... Whew, good thing we came over here at the time we did. We were quickly running out of gas. Who's shooting me? Oh, there's a guy way on that mountain over there. I wonder if I could... I doubt I can hit that guy, but... I can dream. Where the heck is he? There he is. Okay. Oh, man. This guy is... Look at this. Look how accurate my gun is. Just... <laughs> Who am I using right now? Is this... What's his name? Uh, William. Yes, of course. That's the gunner that's extremely inaccurate. So that, that makes a little more sense. William, buddy. You're just wasting ammo, buddy. Stop it. I mean, he's kind of hitting him. But in typical William fashion, he's just 
blowing. Oh, wow, he actually killed him. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up, William. Oh, here comes the nades. All right, you actually, you know what, buddy? We're going to get you on the back because you're going to be very busy in a quick second here. Come on. There you go. Flame him up. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is a bad spot to be, though. I am going to have to really get lucky here. I'm going to take some serious damage, man. I'm actually stuck. Oh, God. All right. And, of course, this guy's out of ammo, and they don't automatically do it, so we're going to tell them to do that. Commander, the infantry is charging in right now. Good luck, gentlemen. I don't think this infantry is going to go too well. Try my best. Come on. Get that flamethrower up. Come on. Stuck on it. There we go. Ignite him. Okay. We got a problem here. We got tanks coming in. I'm going to back up because he's getting really close. We got lots of enemy infantry, as you can see, as well. All right, using my abilities there, and there we go. That's what we needed. Uh, just a little bit of ability spam. All right, we got another attack coming in in two minutes. So the first wave, we didn't even get a chance to see them. You know what? I'm going to back up again because we need to refuel this this little friggin' tank. It doesn't have a big enough fuel tank, man. All right, looks like we do have a teammate here. Where the hell's the rest of our infantry attack, though? Did they already die? Okay, I'm trying. Oh God, damn it! Okay, that was the final one. Seriously, we're not we're not bringing in that much infantry if that's it, man. Wait, there's my teammates. Okay, so they were on the hill hiding. So I don't know if I should follow them. I found some barbed wire finally. So clearly, this is the stuff they're talking about. Uh, we gotta take down a lot of this stuff. So I don't think this wave's gonna work. We got another attack wave coming in a minute. We got eight minutes to successfully do this. So hopefully, we can do this. Power to the tracks. There we go. Oh, God, that's a problem, too. Okay, how did that catch on fire? Jesus. All right, so, yeah, they just have barbed wire everywhere over here. I'm assuming we spawn on the other side of it. There we go. Everything's repaired, though. That was gave us some time to repair it. Uh, we are running out of time, though, so we got to get lucky here and get a few kills real quickly because, uh, oh, it looks like we're actually taking A. They took it. All right, so they got A. That's the important part, so... I uh, did dwindle the uh, opposition there a little bit, but we do got to go take B, and they can take A back, so we got to worry about that. I'm just trying to finish this up real quick. We only got 10 more to do. We basically just focus on getting this here. And here comes another wave of them. Yes, as you can see, my, my, my brethren start from over here, so if we take this out, it should help them a little bit. They're not very smart, though. They kind of just run into it, so I'm trying my best to help them. All right, four more barbed wire. I really wish we had a bigger tank right about now because this takes, like, look how long that freaking took. All right, my teammates are killing things. That's good. They are taking back the point, as you can see, so we got to go get that back. I got six minutes to do that. We're almost on this barbed wire, though. We may as well finish it up. Once again, because I have such a low fuel tank, we are going to have to refuel, unfortunately. We have been able to hold A, though. That's the important part. And B is right up this mountain here, so we should be able to hopefully attack it and take it back once we're done here. I'm going to just refuel a little bit, too. We're not going to do the whole damn thing. Let's actually get this guy in the back because I do really like that flamethrower. Okay, attack in 14 seconds, so we should be able to join the wave when they come in because they're coming in from behind us. And that should be enough. Feel like, oh, look how fast my freaking feel's going down, man. Okay, it's green. Green means it's okay. Let's get this thing done, man. Let's take back this war. All right, we're going to pop some smoke here, too, because uh, that should be fun. Pop it right. There we go. Hopefully they can't see me as well now. This is so cool. I love the abilities that each character has. Uh, we got... Is that, is that my teammates here? No, that is definitely not my teammates. All right, this is actually good for the flamethrower, though. Oh, no. Speaking of flamethrower, we're kind of on fire here. All right, I'm going to let that happen. And hopefully we can flame up these guys a little bit. There you go. Oh, God. Bad things are happening. Okay, driver, start repairing stuff, man. Come on. Do I have to go outside? Oh, God, I have to go outside. Please don't die. Please don't die. Put out that fire quick. Oh, God. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, it's got to repair. We're okay. I don't know what the water is needed for the uh, flamethrower, though. I'm assuming that means fuel for the, the, for the canister, maybe? Okay, so I don't think... Oh, my God, there's so many things going wrong here. You know what? Let's get this guy... Let's get this guy on this then. That way we can help out. It looks like my flamethrower, I need some sort of different ammo that I didn't bring on this tank, of course. All right, here we go. Taking it back. We got lots of guys over here. I'm going to actually use this guy because he probably isn't the best aim. There we go. There we go. Get him down. Get him down. Oh, this is going to be close, man. Don't throw a nade at me, you little jerk. I'm going down now. Is he dead? Yeah, he's definitely dead. <laughs> We got one minute left, man. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this. 
I think this tank's a little too weak. We need that big old cannon, man. Come on, baby. Oh, don't hit me with that. All right, there we go. There we go. Hit him down. Oh, of course we got another tank coming in. Great. Just what I needed right now. Okay, so you know what? We're going to have to get this guy on the anti-tank gun. And hopefully he'll auto-shoot. We'll just hang out over here with this guy. All right, Willie. Combat reload rapid fire, buddy. Come on. Let's get this thing done. Oh, of course. I was just below it. Okay, that was my fault. Didn't have him in range, but look at that. This is why you use your abilities, man. We got to get this thing down real quick. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it, guys, but I'm trying my best with the little whippet. Come on, man. See, look at how many this freaking thing takes, even with my abilities on. We really do need a big cannon to take out these little tanks. 27 seconds left. We have technically one of the points. Oh, this tank is totally broken, though. This is great. Oh, this is absolutely horrifying. Yeah, I am in pretty much disrepair now, so we just got to hold this point the best we can. Really trying to take down this damn tank. There we go. And right at the end, we got the victory as well. So I guess that that happened before, too. You don't need to take the, both the points. You just got to bring up the front lines, it seems like. So, yeah, technically, that was a victory. And, man, that was a difficult fight in this little guy. But that was really, really fun. All right, guys, but that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Armored Battle Crew. I just wanted to mostly show you the new tanks and the amount of customization that now is in this game. When we first checked it out, basically, you could choose the tank, which was one, and you couldn't customize it at all. So I'm really excited for this game. Uh, it's got a really unique blend of strategy and, you know, armored warfare. Let me know what you guys think of it below, because uh, I always like your guys' opinions, and uh, I gotta say, this is one of the coolest tank games that I've seen in a long time, so I will be following it as it is being updated. As always, guys, I want to thank you for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.